Hello everybody, and welcome to my brand new series. This game, this game is my childhood. I love it so much. Well, not this game exactly. I played Gold, the original Gold version, and it was my favorite Pokemon game in the entire series. And I mean that wholeheartedly. It is just so great and so well done. Why am I playing Heart Gold then you ask? Well, the amount of times that I played Gold, I know it backwards now and I'd like to have a bit of a new experience, but still have a similar one to the one when I played Gold, so why not play the remake? And yes, this will be my very first time playing the remake, and it's been a mission to keep myself spoiler free, so come and join me as we play Pokemon Heart Gold version. I don't think there's any info needed, thank you very much. Interesting. Oh, excuse me, sorry, I, I was just reading this book, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry to uh, keep you waiting, but welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. Uh, you may remember me from the first game we played uh, together, but uh, everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I've got one right here. It's, it's a cute little Meryl. It's not peekaboo as you thought it was, but uh, we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Well, uh, I'm a boy. So, let's go with the boy option, of course. If it will... Let me choose it, thank you. So, you're a boy then? Yes, indeed. Please tell me your name. Well, uh... My name, of course, is Athice. So, uh... Let's just enter that chair quickly. E -H. There we go. Where is the S? And another E. There we go. We have got a Thice entered in. Your name is a Thice. Oh, that's a very interesting name. Yes, it is indeed. A Thice! <laughs> Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon! I'll see you later! Hey, Link Gator! But not for a while, old crocodile! Ooh, ooh. Hello? And I'm in the game. Alrighty, guys, and already I am loving the look of this game. It looks so nice. And there is a TV there. And a Wii! Wii is huge in Johto 2, apparently. Yo, Wii's huge here too, man! Nice, booted up the PC and checked the mailbox. Alright, that's new. Yeah, let's read it. Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! Meryl Lyra. Meryl Lyra? Uh, no, no, no. Back, back, back. Okay, I assume that was a go. <laughs> but anyway, from the name Lyra. Ooh, and this is the mom in the game? Hi, Thice. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. we get a bag. This is your trainer card. Here, you can save the record of your progress. 
These are also rather helpful. You might like this too. Try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. And don't forget to pack a spare pair of underwear. And always call your mom. And never forget to tap. Phew, peace and quiet. Whoa. Um, hi? Uh, ma'am, is this yours? I guess I just wanted to say hi. How adorable. Oh, off they go. Okay, so apparently this is a very windy town. And this is my house. But, uh, we've got windmills. Hang on a second, is that windmill making a sound? That is amazing. That That is attention to detail. On such an awesome scale. You're a dice. Oh yeah, Professor Earl just got some new Pokemon. Yep, yep. A hundred new Pokemon. How amazing that was back then. I remember getting the magazines back when I was still small and these games were coming out and I was like, oh my word, these new Pokemon look awesome. <laughs> Never before had we had new Pokemon introduced, so it was huge back then. Hi, Lass. Lara is upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. You didn't bring your Pokemon? Oh, I should have known. You don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings with dice. Wow, what a grump. Anyway, let's say hi to this Lyra. I guess this is this, the Meryl Lyra. The dice! Professor Elm was looking for you. Did you go to his lab? No, not yet, Lyra. Anyway, let's head on down. Just want to explore around town a bit. See what there is to see. I'm talking about seeing what there is to see. For those of you that haven't played Heart Gold or the original Gold or Silver or the new Soul Silver. Okay. Just listen to this. I could sit here all day listening to this. This music, that sea, is amazing. But that's not why I came here. I want to say, remember this patch of water for later in the game much later in the game. I like your bag. Thanks very much, ma'am. Anyway, let's head on into this house. Pikachu was an evolved Pokemon. This fact was first discovered by Professor Realm. I was amazed by Professor Realm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Ooh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Well, just keep holding on to your dreams, ma'am. Maybe one day you will be. And, on we go. And, who's this suspicious looking fellow? And why is he staring into the window there? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Whoa, rude much. You don't just go pushing me like that. So this, and you don't just go repeating dialogue like that. What's wrong? With, hey, what's wrong with you? Anyway, can't do much with him. Let's head on upstairs here, shall we? Hi, Thais. My husband's always so busy. Hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. When I grow up, I'm gonna help my dad. I'm gonna be a great Pokemon professor. Good for you, kid. Good for you. You follow those dreams, and you achieve them. And in we go, through the door. Hi there. Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. I guess this is the professor. Hi, Thais. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Amazing, isn't it? Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, uh, but only up to six. But we, uh, walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon? outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Uh, oh, hang on, my phone's ringing. 
Um, oh, hey, I, I got an email. It wasn't my phone ring. Uh, hi. Hmm, uh, huh. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm just talking to my email here. Just give me a second. Yeah? Okay. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Um, hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. Don't let that confuse you, though. He is a person, not a Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries, which nobody really follows or believes in because, you know, he, he's kind of eccentric. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. You know, as opposed to all the other times when he's embarrassed the scientific community. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, oh, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? I mean, I'm giving you a Pokemon and everything. You can choose one of the Pokemon right over there. Dude. Blackmailing me with a Pokemon? I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. So let's choose our first Pokemon. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon is inside. Alrighty, so we've got a choice of Chikorita, the grass type, Toastyle, the water type, or Cyndaquil, the fire type. Well, in our uh, first playthrough, in Pokemon Blue, we had a water type. In our side playthrough, we've got a fire type, Natsu. So, in this playthrough, we are going to go for Chikorita, the grass type. Even though Cyndaquil is my favorite, and Totodile is the Pokemon that I first chose when I first got gold. So anyway, let's go for Chikorita. And we received Chikorita from Professor L. Victory music, yay! And of course we are going to give a nickname. This Chikorita's name is going to be Mustard. Just because I'm going for a source theme for the, t for the team names, and I think Mustard is going to suit this Chikorita to a team. Um, hello? Thank you. Okay, there we go. Yep. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Hmm, Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you with dice. Alrighty, so we got our very own Chikorita. Let's see what it has to say. Mustard is looking this way and smiling. Woo! Yeah, okay. Huh? Who's this guy? Advice. I want you to have these to help you with your task. And we obtained some potions. How very generous. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Why, thank you, sir. Alrighty, let's head on out, shall we? Huh. There's that Lyra girl. The dice! So you picked a Chikorita? That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! And off she goes. Oh. Adorable! Little Meryl likes Chikorita. What do you have to say, Chikorita? Huh? Mustard is sniffing at a thighs. Alrighty, I guess getting used to our scent. But anyway, this feature of having your Pokemon walk behind you is just so great. And while I'm on that, I, I, I don't want to assign a key item, I'd like to have a look at our Pokemon quickly, shall we? Let's have a look at Mustard. Naive Nature, March 18th. 2016's New Bark Town. Met at level 5. Mischievous. Well, I guess you guys know now when I'm recording this. <laughs> Alrighty, Overgrow Pass up. Yeah, that's a normal move. Alrighty, normal uh, ability actually. Abilities weren't actually in the original game, so that's quite interesting. Oh, Matthias, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor L must have given it to you. 
Oh, uh, Professor Elmer's task for you, you say? What kind of task? Oh, I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your Poké Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. And we receive the Poké Gear. The Poké Mon Gear, or Poké Gear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use this Poké Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yep. And you're going to tell me anyway. Just power on the Poké Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Wow, can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Can't believe it either. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching as we've made our first steps out on this journey. I hope you've all enjoyed our time together and the start of a new series. I know I have. As always, hoping to see you again soon. My name is Athais. Good night and God bless.